I want to make a video. Um, this is a, a mag needle for an Oliver. It's for an Oliver 70. And I got this out of a bucket of parts over here. Just a bucket of parts. Um, it looked about as dusty and dirty as that magneto. The cap wasn't on it all the way, and so there was, and the rotor was quite rusted. Um, so I spent a lot of time this morning just cleaning it up, re-greasing everything. I cleaned up the points. I didn't replace anything. I just cleaned everything and I put it back together. Um, and then I had to modify my tester here. So typically, I've never tested a six six cylinder uh, magneto on it, just two and four. So typically I just have these four, um, these four spark caps, but then I had to kind of modify it a little bit. This is this one, that one, that one, and that one over there. Those are typically my third or neutral, um, uh, electrode that, uh, what I've done is I flipped them around and I have connected them to so this is a hot and this is hot and that's ground and that's ground and so now i've got six i've got my six uh, spark gaps one two three four five six so i have not started this yet I'm going to start it up and see, hopefully we have spark. I do not know. We'll see what happens. And I'll probably have to give this a little bit of a head start or a little bit of a hand to overcome the impulse. So um, maybe, well, we'll see what happens here. I'll turn the speed up a little bit. Oh, let me shut this light off. So then you can see the spark a little bit better. There. Okay. Here goes, hopefully we have six blue sparks. Oh my gosh. That's all of them. I don't know if you can see the sparking. One, two, three, Four, five. In the video, you can't really see that it is sparking every time. I think it's just because of the rate. But you can hear how smooth all of the sparks are. Let me go shut the, all of the lights off. Uh-oh. Oh, my lug came off. I didn't tighten it. Let me shut it off. I didn't tighten this. Dang it. Here, let me tighten this. Okay, I'm gonna have to help it out again. Shut off the light if you can see it. I don't know. There's all the sparks. Every now and then one misses going at about 500 rpm but I'm not sure if that one misses because of the gap being too wide or um, a ground being bad but I'm gonna call that fixed let's flip the light back on
That's sweet. I'm excited. Good old American Bosch Magneto. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to check out and see if the ground or the shutoff works. Like the Magneto shutoff. So it's right here. And I'm just going to ground that out and see if it works. And see if it kills all the spark. I haven't tried this yet, so we'll see. Okay, so this has been running for probably about 15 or 20 minutes now. Still got good spark coming from each one. Like I say, you can't see it on the video, probably, but you can hear it. It snaps really clear. And here in real life, with, you know, live, you can see it really well. I'm going to shut it off. Okay. Well... With the exception of this, uh, this shutoff right here, everything works really great. Okay, here's a quick little tip. So this is that uh, six-cylinder magneto from that Oliver. Anyway, when I was cleaning it up this morning, there's this little window right here to look inside the cap. And the plastic that was over it was very brittle and really dark and black you couldn't see through it but it was also cracked and broken and so i wanted to put something new in there and i didn't want to go buy anything anyway so this is what i used this is just a piece of uh 20 ounce soda bottle cut it out lay it in there and it actually works just great curved a little bit but anyway yeah that was my wife's idea so all credit goes to her anyway it's hard to do this with one hand just a second there it is got it all put in anyway I think that's pretty good and then while it's running you can look back in there and you can actually see the uh, the rotor firing on all of these uh, um, on all of these terminals. So anyway, pretty cool. And thanks to my wife for helping me out.